Map 2, Ancient, Fluxo and Zero Zero Nation and the latter is one map away from getting to the grand final of this tournament to play 9Z for a spot in Dallas. And I think they've been pretty happy with how that first map went. They played very well, a lot of tough situations yeah. they got through and Zero Zero Nation now have to find a way to answer back. I didn't get to cast Fluxo yesterday, obviously you did in their games against 9Z and INTZ, but man, they, they looked really good in that first map against 0-0 Nation. Probably better than what they looked, I would assume, in either of those previous games yesterday. Is that Would that be correct? I I, th I mean, to be fair, for 0, zero Nation, obviously, I, it's really hard to, to really say how well they did in the first game against INTZ, because that was an absolute wipeout. I was just yeah. not really any fight at all from INTZ. And the second game against 9Z was a really close, enjoyable best of three that could have gone either way. So I think it's fair to say that if Fluxo um, win this one out in two, then uh, they're going to prove why they've actually made the RMR. Because before this game, we were talking yes. about the fact that Zero Zero Nation could still be considered the better of these two teams. Came into it as the favorites. Woody will find the first pick of the round. There's two players set up in towards Donut. Next is able to dispatch of both of them. There are still two players on that A-bomb site, though. Yeah. So even though Fluxo are down by a man, there's still a chance for them to make something happen in the round, but they have been forced back in towards Temple. Yeah, we have to stay at the minimap right now. Three versus four is the result. <laughs> yeah, I'm casting from the minimap here, baby. We cast baby. the minimap as well, unfortunately. We have to, a bit of a, a bug for a second, but there we go. We're back. BSN manages to get himself Got one, it. but now Lukowski is here. Recovers it into a two versus two, but now... It's a two versus one. Next, fighting for his life. You think he knows where both these two players are, but they don't even need to fight him really considerably here, do Fluxo. The kit and smoke is still up. Next, we'll hop away. And that might change the positioning. And actually, he comes back for more. And that tries to shock a Fluxo player, but Lukowski is still going to be here, ready and rowing to go. Rotation swing in from CT as well. It's a bit of a crossfire, but actually, oh. Next takes the big wide swing duel. In the end, tries to hit ahead, but can't make it happen. And Fluxo yeah, Phelps. will sort it out. Unconnected is Phelps. Just a problem with the HUD there. Yeah. He will uh, yeah, get him reconnected, at least in terms of plugging his name in there soon enough. Uh, that was a chaotic pistol round, to say the least. Zero Zero Nation able to get the favorable exchange at the start of the round in towards Donut. Problem was, Fluxo still had so many players on that A bomb site, so they were able to weather the storm, even though they were down by a man. Lukazi with a lot of impact out of his kill gets it back into an even numbers game, but. Phelps was the main hero with his two-piece. Phelps is being very mysterious Zero Zero right Probably now. a bit aggrieved that they didn't win the round. Yeah, agreed. He's being very mysterious. Being connected. And uh, we have a, a ghost in the kill feed getting all the kills. How terrifying is that? Why don't I add ghosts to CS2? We'll be getting jump scared more than we do already. But yeah, I just uh, can assure you that Phelps is unconnected. That his name at some point. Lukowski fighting away for his life against NQZ. This is a force buy from Zero Zero Nation, and they're getting S up pretty comfortably here. So, this is oh, uh, no. a really impressive hold at the moment. Eventually, the Famas does get dropped. Hold with a nice long range Deagle, and he again he hits another one. His Deagle's been on fire today overall. Absolutely. But this round will still be tough. Certainly has been the. Uh... Some great deeg ability coming out of Cold Zero in the series so far, but yeah, you like that one? You know what? I'll take it. I like it. Okay. Uh, I owe you one for your uh, for masses. <laughs> so, even trade one oh! for one. Fair trade! Cold Zero God! <laughs> what on earth is that transition, man? Mid fight with Lukowski. All three kills in the round coming at his hand. 22 seconds left on the clock. I don't think they have the luxury to walk all the way here. They're going to have to get a move on. And although Lukazi's low, should still be able to get at least a kill on that B bomb site. It's going to hear the utility coming through. So VSM can get a head start on that rotation. Oh, Lukazi on the angle. Cold Zero going to bypass him. Oh, Lukazi, has he been spotted? I don't think oh. so. Jesus, Cold. That's a fourth in the round. They're all one digs as well. Didn't even need to be a headshot. And he still hits one. This is some dirty stuff from Cold. What year is it? Please tell me. I've lost track of time. VSM 1v2. I think he knows where at least one of these players is residing, but it's the second player that he's not sure about. It's a pretty nice crossfire. Cold could be on for an ace here. In comes the trade, but VSM gets both. With 5 HP to spare, he recovers the situation, and Cole's heroics will now be forever forgotten about. All in vain, Trav. All in vain.
inject that round into my veins because that was gorgeous out of cold zero man oh man i can't believe that that's um so unfortunate that he does so much work and at the end it's still not enough for them to win the round trav uh disastrous but still at least he gets as many frags as he does yeah I mean, it was it's beautiful right every single one being a headshot as you say it's a fantastic try but in the end even though they position themselves in cave to actually a pretty nice position and a nice angle to play a crossfire whereas if one gets taken down the other player can peek cole just wasn't close enough and the way that vsm yes. played with that angle was enough just to hide his body enough i believe from cold's angle himself so yeah it was really important we're just fixing the HUD for you to try and make Phelps not unconnected, of course, which will hopefully get sorted out. Um, but yeah, when we're, uh, when we're sorted, we can get back in the game ASAP. Um, right now, we'll have to enjoy our ugly mugs for a little while. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> that's not an issue for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's a really fun opening to this map. And it's just actually following the same pattern as the previous map too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, almost to the T with Cold Zero's Desert Eagle actually doing as much work as it has. So, yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't result in the round win this time. And in fact, he actually does even more work here in this round. Those four D shots were just absolutely insane. I hope somebody's clipped that. And I, you know, I hope we got some NTs in chat after that as well. <laughs> Certainly deserved. Yeah. Keep in mind, it's Flexo who lead the Series 1-0 at the moment after winning on Mirage. And we're going to be getting back into Ancient to find out exactly what it has in store. Guess what? The ghost is gone. The ghost of Phelps is now a ghost of Ancient Past. Phelps is back in the server, and we're all good again. Not that he ever was gone. He was just, you know, an imposter no. for a second. He was sus, yeah. Hayes. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I Dead hate, game, Trav. Dead game. No, I actually hate it. I agree. <laughs> oh, really? Did you even just make yourself <laughs> no, cringe actually, when you did that a little? It annoys me. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like you did it ironically. It's <laughs> of okay. course, of it, course. As long as it's done ironically, I can, uh, I, I can let you get away with it. Um, <laughs> No surprise to see Zero Zero Nation have forced back here. They got the bomb plant. They got four kills in the previous round. The front goes away. They offside as well. Great clearance of the angle onto Woody. VSM not good for a kill either. That's the round over. Wrap it up. Put a bow on it. Ship it off. Job's done. Yep. Um, no way back into this one. Even if Next did walk into that little top. And go down. And there will be no way back in. The Kalzi just hoping for a random double kill through a smoke to make something happen. And Phelps even might get caught in, in T spawn there. So. The pace turned up by Zero Zero Nation, knowing the damage they've done, going for the full force buy. You can see they've had pretty limited utility. Look at what they've got now. Nothing left after the round. But I realise the situation. And VSM, he tried to peek off the back of his teammate, of the teammate fight, but yeah, the M4A4 will only, only ever get one there, and he couldn't even complete that. So, Feeman's save has to come through. Good response from Zero Zero Nation after they lost the 2v1 in the previous round. Straight into when he waves to Mao. Miscalculates a little bit there, dies to the bomb explosion. Massive bomb explosion range, of course, here on Ancient now. Yeah, it is. I've seen players die at the top of mid with, you know, like 5 HP. Can be pretty pain painful. Almost seems a bit too much on both Ancients and Inferno. What are they even blowing up on the map? You know, it's got like a few old architecture sites here. Yeah, clearly... Like it's not like there's any explosives or clearly anything. Clearly someone has um, done something very mean to one of these T-side players in the past, right? And they decided, listen, you've got an archaeological site that's got some beautiful areas to it. I don't like you. I'm going to blow it up. Do you know where Ancients is actually situated? Is it Brazil? Uh, not too far off. I, I actually, I'm going to go out on a bit of a limb here. I seem to remember it being Mexico, but I'll look it up. It's got like that aztec -y vibe, right? You know, I think it's it's definitely somewhere from Central, Central America. America. I literally, I've just looked at the Wikipedia and it says it appears to take place in Central America. So there you go. Okay. We weren't too far yeah, off. Yeah, like the Mayans, Aztecs kind of vibe. Yeah, we weren't too far off. Okay, well, here we go. Flux are going to force back in response. But this is Zero Zero Nation's chance here, Trav. You win the force by two wall. And Nico gets a lead at that point. Early stage of the T side. They want to they want to be in control of Ancient. They don't want it to be a back and forth affair where they're constantly on the back foot or feeling the pressure because they're down 1-0 in the series right now. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say that neither of these two teams actually are 
that have the best results on Ancient. Zero Zero Nation, it's always a map they've been very comfortable to pick, but it's one that has been falling out of favour for them, win rate rise, for quite a while now. I think they've fallen down to like a 35% win rate or something for 11 or so maps. Fluxo, they only have had some maps played on it really regionally, and even there they haven't had much success, so I guess that makes you think that Zero Zero Nation are happy to go for a map that they play often, and that's a weakness for Fluxo. But... Yeah, it's, uh, it depends how it will go around. This is an interesting play from Zero Zero Nation. Straight through Red Room, all the way through to Temple, behind the A bomb site. And VSM's got a tight angle to watch it, but there are so many things here to face. And that's a lovely shot from VSM up close. Can he grab the gun? He can. Well done. Yeah, Cold Zero actually on the receiving end for a change of the one dig. Still going to be very difficult for Fluxo to make the defense work on the say bomb site. There's just a fresh angles. I guess it's all on history. They're hoping that he's going to be able to maintain his position and go on the table. It's been the case right now. Oh, they would love to get the kill on the table player. That's so unfortunate that it has to be history to finish off that frag. He would have loved to have gotten a kill elsewhere, although might not cost him the round entirely. It's only next left remaining. 1v2 clutches a kitcher on Phelps. They know exactly where he is. Smoke in front of the bomb. Who's got the kits? It's Phelps, the player who's trying to defend Lukazi. Really awkward in that regard. If he had the kit, Lukazi would have completely defused. He's not no. far off of it. Now next, spraying and praying. Unfortunately, his prayers will not be answered. And he will be sent into the underworld. Unfortunately so. That is a, as you say, that was just plainly awkward. Phelps having to be the one to fight when he's the one with the kit. That round would have been done so much faster if it was the other way round. But in the end, Phelps did enough. Just to waste a little bit extra time and next in the end ran out of ammunition. Lukas, he gets to defuse through. I think he might have been slightly obscured by the edge of the bo uh, box too. Not that next, I think, spray was anywhere near anyway, but still. Yeah. yeah. I think he was a bit far off. Great round to win. But 0-0 Nation will insist on the force buy and I don't blame them. It's a, it's a good one. Got the AWP in play. Three AKs. That's still good. Be a better buy. I don't know what I have. You and PNF for Marston that makes no sniper on that CT side. Chaos on that A bomb site, man. A couple rounds now we've seen that ensue over on that side of the map. As a result, looks like Fluxo are reading that surely this time Zero Zero Nation will head over towards B, but that's not the case. It's actually only Lato who's here right now, and they're clearing what the time they're gonna be like. He oh. does readjust just in time. Look, he's just avoid the hail of bullets coming through. One bullet will be enough to get the job done, yeah. but he'll keep his life intact. Yeah, it's always such a tough position to play because you can get, if you're solo, as he was in that scenario, if the aggression comes through from the CT side, you can be pushed from all different angles and get spammed, as you say, as well. All banged down. And QZ now has a chance to set up with a sightline toward Donut, but you'll just like, take a peek and ignore it for now. 5v4. Only Phelps to defend the B-bomb site right now, and he's about to have an influx to come his way of Zero Zero Nation players. Just shoulder peeking it, and we'll hear the information, and he'll pop that smoke down. He's only got this fan to defend it. That's the biggest issue, and he's become being spammed even more from that same position as well. Dumao even trying his hand at it too. Phelps is very stuck, and next will even take down Woody's flank too. VSM has to chime in. Does, seconds, he needs man. more. Time is an issue as well. History is very, very quick. And he can't fight Cold Cup. Still alive. Drops the bomb. But in the end, they get the kills. And getting the kills was the only way to win that round with the bomb on the floor. That was way too close. Yeah, Fluxo left so much responsibility there to Phelps. And Next actually does a huge amount of work, man. The fact that he was able to get another kill there on the players rotating through from middle had a lot of impact. And I was seriously concerned with the amount of time that was left on the clock. But... Because Phelps was the last player, yeah, they were able to just get the frag to finish off the job. As you said, that was the only route to victory. And 0-0 Nation are able to come out on top of that all-important round. So we're sort of trading rounds here at this point. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, trend will be bucked here, though. Yeah, Make maybe. the investment for Flux, so. I would imagine that would be the case. Of course, 0, Zero Nation, this was a map they were very happy to go toward when they played in Pro League. They took OG to double OT. They took Navi to all 30 rounds and they beat NIP. Yeah. But unfortunately, Damn. that win against NIP is the only win in the last seven. So they've been struggling on it. Uh, tough opponents, but making it close every time. 9Z MIBR in recent games as well. Both went to 16 13 and 16 12. So 
Close but no cigar is the storyline for Zero Zero Nation on this map recently. But Fluxo aren't great either, as I said earlier. They have not had the best of yeah. it. They've played it regionally and they've lost to INTZ, Sharks and Imperial on the map. They lost to Sharks 16-3 in CCT, so pretty tough loss. Yeah, you look at the different level of opposition these two teams have been playing against on this map, it yeah, certainly does sort of lean in Zero Zero Nation's di uh, direction heavily. And, uh, well, they needed to, Trav. This is for IEM Dallas, mate. So not, not this game, but for a yeah. shot. You win this, you play against 9Z in the grand final. Winner of that game qualifies for IEM Dallas. And it's not like 9Z are Furia. They're, they're a beatable team for both Fluxo and Zero Zero Nation. They both fancy their chances against 9Z. Sure, 9Z would be the favourites, but not by a huge amount. Now he needs to step up, but yeah, only that deagle on, on an angle where Cold was going to swing him. Two kills for Cold. Bomb will go down. Open plant. No reason to plant safe when you've got so much control. Don't take any gambles. And history, Woody and VSM will probably look to save. It was a full force buy, so makes sense to save the guns into the next and try again. And I think there is a nation won't necessarily want to push too hard on the attack to take any of these guns down because they need to build what? up their own money. And VSM will already chime in and keep Dumao at bay. So they can go and find that AK. It's maybe worth a risk for one of these two pistols. But Cold is covering I think that's it. what Cold Zero is. Yeah, exactly. Looking to try and make sure they can't do. Although he might offer himself up as well as the tag that comes through. It's looking like Woody might be able to finish off the job. Oh, there it is. okay. Can they recover it though? I don't think so. No. Unfortunately, won't be able to pick it up, but at least a second kill. There's the bomb blast again, like you mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. He was tagged True. once by the 5.7, down to about, what was it, 5 HP or so, and the bomb on B took him down. It wasn't I think he would have died away. even if he wasn't tagged by the 5.7. Yeah, I think just so. With the scout tag. Good. I think that's a good fair, that's a fair point, I agree. And it probably would have been enough either way. Remember, Zero Zero Nation have had strong starts to every half we've played so far. They haven't been able to keep their momentum up, though. That's where they've fallen short, is after we've progressed sort of the post-8th round type of thing. Hopefully, they can keep it up throughout this time round. Yes, um, giving that side of the map a glance before falling back away. Looking to try and go up against NQZ. There's the timing. Now the pistol push will come through. Now, he's covered his teammate well. QZ will eventually get the, get the quick trade, and BSM can only get a bit of a tag, a bit of a double tag in the end. But uh, yeah, zero zero nation, four rounds on the board. Fluxo now have a full buy to come in, but Orp plus of course. So zero zero nation have a chance to push forward now on their map pick. And winning this gun round here is where you put Fluxo on the back foot. Feels like this might be one of the first out and out full gun rounds we've had. Rifles across the board here. Bar NQZ has the sniper rifle. That one's always confused me, Trap. We call it a sniper rifle, but we don't box it in with the rifle. We kind of just oh my god infer automatic rifle. Yeah, true. BSM just ate that oh, grenade, and he also ate that headshot from that though. Not the most fun of rounds Great for BSM, trade. but Lukowski happy to go aggressive, and as you say, good trade. Not necessarily on the original transgressor, which is Lato, as he's found himself another kill, but at least it was able, able to level out the numbers. But so much time left on the clock here into the three versus four. At this point, if you're the CT side, you probably just gamble stack one of the bomb sites. If they come your way, you're able to mount the defense. If they don't, then you just save your guns. They're still spread really thin right now. Woody has so much responsibility on the side of the map. He's holding the tight, tight line. Angle held. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the one you want to be on, I would say. But he's just missed the timing on seeing the boost go up. I'm not sure if we'd have seen it from that angle anyway. But either way, most certainly didn't now. No arm scene or anything like that. And because of that, he's going to shift back away again, is Woody. And that will just completely give up the A bomb site. Zero Zero Nation are waiting. Little do they know it's been completely vacated. Lato's still in this default position outside the B doors. Must be absolute nuisance. And as soon as Woody comes back, that's when the smokes are up. And this bomb should be planted. 
And it doesn't even look like Fluxa are going to be afforded the luxury of keeping all three of their players <clears throat> alive as history goes down. And they would have been able to afford an investment into the next round by dropping some guns. So that is unfortunate. Does Woody have a kit? No. I, I would have got a bit excited if he had a kit, yeah? Unfortunately, not going to be able to make uh, make much of this position. That's just being an absolute Have nuisance damage. right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I mean, uh, he really he was quite anonymous on the first map. So seeing him contribute the way that he is here on Ancient looks a lot better. Yeah, I mean, the player we know he's capable of being. Yesterday, I saw two aces from that. Oh, actually, there was one Inferno against Pistols, but still, um, yeah, pretty nice. Let's go down to the bomb there. It's kind of... Awkward, but they still survived with three players up, and Demar actually was on one HP there, so they almost lost two to the bomb. But yeah, anyway. Um, Lasso got a nice anti-eco ace on Inferno on B-site with good flash support from uh, from teammates, and it wasn't against Glocks. It was actually against, like, you know, Tech Nines and stuff, so that was a really nice hold. And it, his more impressive one was the one on Anubis in that match. That map was very fun to watch against 9Z. And he uh, had a brilliant two... Or one versus two, I should say, on the A bomb site. Flicking back for two players flanking. Yeah, it's definitely worth a rewatch if anyone wants to go and check that. The clip is available on HL TV. It's uploaded as well. Map page. Aggression from VSM. Plenty of damage to next. But no frag. Yeah, he's going to be hoping to maybe get a kill or two here in the round. Zero Zero Nation continuing their strong start here into the middle stages of the half. Cold Zero. Well, he's picked up here on Ancient where he left off on Mirage. Mere formality. Woody, nice position. Will net him a kill. Finishes off that frag. Next. Bomb Carrier actually somewhat isolated towards the back of A main. Yeah, and he was still fighting that, which is a bit weird. I mean, Colton in a very good position yeah. here, so it should be absolutely fine. There we go, he gets the frag, but only 14 HP to spare. Again, a little bit scary. And Zero do tend to put themselves into, into some weird situations and weird positions. Uh, yesterday on an Ancient, they had a similar situation where they had a pretty comfortable round ahead of them, 5 versus 3, and then just wandered around 1 for 1, for one and almost lost it. MQZ had to clutch on the A-bomb site and did, but... Yeah, Woody. Jumps on this one. The now wide swings him. And easy spray down for him. Six to three. Double the score of Fluxo. This is what he wanted to see if this series was going to be close. Absolutely. Inferno, the decider, if we go the distance. Fluxo need to make a marker coming up in the next round. The scoreline was three to two at one point in favor of Fluxo. They've lost four consecutive rounds since then. History again slow to start on the map, as was the case on Mirage. They're going to need him here on the CT side. The Zero Nation have had free reign, right? They've kind of just been able to uh, play as they please on this T side. A lot of attention in towards middle. Almost always winning out the gunfights, or at least trading favorably. That has been great, applying pressure over towards B ramp. CT Indeed. side of Ancients become difficult, man. You, you kind of have to either go for a bit of a gamble stack and push one of the extremities of the map, or stack up middle with three players and then try to go from there. I know. It's tough, isn't it? I mean, I was talking about this yesterday as well. Just the fact that fast plays, even if they're even toward A, I mean, usually you'd expect fast plays toward B, but fast rushes toward A can really often catch off the CT side, especially considering that you can group up outside A sometimes without the CTs having any information whatsoever. Yeah, as you say, maybe grouping up. Well, actually, they are going to be a fast player. This time it's 4 there. They're listening to us. And the trade is instant from Damal. Get back to my point in a second. Phelps needs oh, to respond, no. but the AWP can't hit the shot. It's a double AWP setup. Flux are in this round, and they're going to get forced back and forced away. A nade for the bomb planter, but it doesn't touch next at all. It's not deep enough. And now, even though he's a little bit stuck, Lato is helping out toward Phelps. Damage done to history. It might be history in a moment or two. VSM close as we look, but even he gets deleted from Matto, and Woody will just be looking to try and save an AWP, you'd imagine. Yeah, has to just pick up the AWP on his fallen teammate Phelps and <clears throat> carry it into the next round. Lovely change of pace, so much great kill out of Woody. He doesn't have a kit though, so there we go, we'll pick up the big green, at least inflicts a bit of extra damage before he departs the scene, but the round will go the way of 0-0 Nation. Like I said, love the change of pace, we haven't seen that direct approach out of them just yet throughout the half, and they know how vitally important this round is. 
Poor Fluxo. Oh, Woody's gonna go down here. Surely, right? Hail of bullets what? through the smoke. He says his prayers, and somehow he'll avoid them all. But um, that missed shot there from Phelps proved to be costly. It's not like they certainly would have won the round if he gets the kill, but it would have made the round a hell of a lot more doable by giving them that man advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Woody, I don't know who he was praying to, but they certainly answered. Yeah. He's figured out the correct religion. His god is real. <laughs> Counter-Strike Gods, listen to him. Those gods are just here we go. Woody in yes, toward Donut, go. looking to go and make this all sing. And actually, he goes back for a second frag and tags up Lato down to 22. That's amazing. Ooh. It wasn't a kill. It was through the end of the wall. And actually, he's going back in for more. This angle might not be expected. Smoke being played with, but Lato again, huge kill. But history is here this time. And look how close VSM is on the flank. Dumal removed. And out of nowhere, it's a 4v2 for Fluxo. Not enough respect from Zero Zero Nation in the round here. Played very aggressively in the previous, that was on point, but to try and keep up that pace coming into the save dorp and a few upgraded weapons, sort of just a quasi buy, if you will, for Fluxo. I think Zero Zero Nation would have been far better off just playing with a little bit of respect. Trying to figure out the location of that orb, act accordingly. Now it's next and NQZ. NQZ down to 30 points of health as well. Grouping up, arm in arm, going to try and head in towards A, but there's an AK on the scene along with the scout of this three. Yeah, I mean, they're going to give it a go, but I think there will be multiple situations where saving could be an option. I think the only reason they're going to give it a try is because NQZ has got a bank of nearly 30 grand, so it makes sense, nice. and the boost works out beautifully. History deleted, but we get still here, looks for the frag, but next it's another big one. That is unlike certain situations from him and he even goes in for the third perfectly done from next but in comes Lukowski and it's a nice shot now it's all down to next for the clutch and he hits the headshot again all four kills for next Orp recovered that is a superb round to take for zero zero nation and that could knock significant stuffing out of fluxo oh man that's just gonna knock the wind out of their sails there were four versus two there trap four versus two and it's not even like Zero Zero Nation had planted the bomb in the B bomb sites amongst the chaos. They had nothing going for them. Standing start from A main in towards the bomb site. Lots of fights offered up by Fluxo. Phenomenal flashes coming through from the Zero Zero Nation players as well. Isolating the fights as they go. You think about it, it didn't feel like a 4v2 in favor of Fluxo just because everybody died individually. Exactly. I mean, the way Next got those kills was superb, of course. He's the youngster, he's actually the lowest rated player on the team. They, they added, of course, in replacement of Taco from the Young Gods, the Godsent Academy team. And he hasn't integrated as cleanly as I'm sure he would have wanted. But that oh, was one wow. of his biggest rounds of his tenure so far. Taco will adjust the spray, but can't finish off the frag. One HP on Lukowski. I am expecting to see another one chat. Or if you're a rebel, you type two. That's up to you. Molotov will come try and force him away. That might spread, and it will... Gets the one tick required. Now zero zero nation before we be two of their own. I think part of the zero zero nation, the lads will be kicking themselves a little bit that they weren't more competitive on Mirage, considering the starts they had to both of the halves. You look at the counter strike that they're playing right now. Dumao next and Lato all having way more impact here on ancient than they did on their previous map. But I suppose yeah, better late than never. And they've pitched up. They're still alive in pursuit of that grand final against 9Z. Almost uh, like they can't put a foot wrong right now here on their T side of Ancient. They were down 2-3, but this is going to be a seventh consecutive round coming through for the T side. Indeed, and I know it's easy to say this considering the scoreline, right? But I think we are seeing some of the evidence of Zero Zero Nation having played Ancient against a lot better opposition, right? Like we're seeing sure. some stuff that they've learned, seeing things that they know not to do. And, they, and things that they know to do as well. Put it into practice and it works out pretty well. Next has walked past Woody, I believe, on his hunt for the AWP. So Woody might be able to save this. And he needs to. First we get have one in the next round. I mean, just going to be plugging the holes with a few upgraded pistols. You know, some Kevlar sprinkled in the mix as well. They won't be able to full buy though, unless they just decide to go for the all-in investment. It has been an abomination of the CT side here for Fluxo. It's not even like the rounds they've been losing have been close, and you can tell that from the kill counts. 
everyone bar Lukowski has a negative kill death ratio and he's neutral. History with three frags, Phelps with six, Woody with six. It's been pretty rough so far here for the CT side. Absolutely. Now this is a round where, as you say, upgraded pistols. Do they even want to go in for some more? I mean, they had full loss for a while. Could even get MP9s, maybe a FAMAS if they wanted to, without buying down to zero. Ooh, because he's gone all in. There we go. I... I'll come out and say it. I, I don't like that decision if the whole team's not going to commit to the all-in buy. I guess his logic is, I get to hear a rifle here, next round I settle for the FAMAS, it gives us that much extra firepower in the round. Let's see what he can do with the gun. Paul Zero calling a masterful T-side so far here on Ancients. Can he keep it up to finish off the half? Him out. Right in the way. In toward mid and latter looking to try and deal with Lukowski. I think he knows he's in that left corner, but which left corner? Yeah, I don't think he has any idea that actually he's so close up. Oh, no. Lukowski chooses to push forward. Sure, it baits in Phelps to CZ for a free AK, but Zero Zero Nation have this man advantage and they know exactly where Phelps is locked in. He's gonna choose to jump his way out and actually jumps his way out nicely. But unfortunately for him in the end, jumps his way into the crosshairs of NQZ. It's gonna be ten rounds on the T half coming in here. Fearsome will try and save the AWP in the open. And Dumao spots him out. No AWP for you. They can buy one. But there won't be any extra cash available for that on the CT side. History only has that AWP. Kevlar and a smoke. This is a great half from Zero Zero Nation so far. Yeah, Lukalzi suffering the consequences of his investment in the previous round. Just one smoke grenade to his name. History also with only one piece of utility. And he's able to salvage a flashbang as well. But it's 0 0 Nation or in complete control. And it's actually looking like we might see another fast paced round into the B bomb site coming through from them here. Maybe a bit of a, uh, a split through Jaguar. And they've already been able to assume control. Uncontested. Yeah, one thing we haven't seen, seen from Fluxo in this half so far. I mean, you mentioned about how the spawns were changing, and that's a point I haven't finished from earlier on. We hadn't seen one of these aggressive plays that would get like you know, likes of a Phelps, your likes of a VSM, aggress aggressive toward the outskirts of B and try and take control of B doors, right? And haven't pushed the T-side back at all. This is a, a change-up, and this is something I want to see. You mentioned three of these are good, and it's going to work out for an opening pick this time, and I think Dumao spotted one more, so you can relay that information, but still, that is the way to go for, get an opening pick. Try something different. Is going to force Zero Zero Nation's hand in towards this B bomb site. There's a player in the site itself, history trying to support. Hasn't actually been supported. Out of position, Phelps is getting mollied alive. At least he's able to get a kill before he goes down. History activates off the back of that. Four versus two. Won't be able to deny the bomb plant itself, but this is the best position Fluxo have been in throughout these past seven or eight rounds they've lost. Lato takes so much damage, he's down to four points of health, he will fall, it's all on next, he's been a hero so far, takes down the low HP player, not the end of the world, he's using that smoke to his advantage, so oh. VSM is his next victim, History has the sniper rifle, next gets around the corner, and then he refaces, oh. History's never expecting that, and that's exactly what next capitalizes on. That is beautiful for next. Uh, honestly, he's absolute monster on Ancient. We saw some good stuff from him yesterday. I mentioned he's not necessarily the player on the team that's the highest rated. He's the newest, he's yeah. the youngest. But in the last few rounds, he's the hottest. The mind games, though. 1v3, kill on the first, then uses the smoke. That frag on VSM was where he won the round. He jumps back into cave. And you can't at all fault history with the way that he tries to chase him into cave. And that's exactly what Next is relying on. That if the, the player is going to be in transition. Wonderful sequence of kills. He will get cut down first here at the start of the next round. But he can sit back proudly after what he just did in the previous. And try and see if his teammates can get them across the line. It doesn't matter for Zero Zero Nation. 11 Ford at the bare minimum. They're laughing all the way to the bank at that point. Yes, and we'll take down NQZ, looking for this fourth round. But yeah, next is single-handedly 1-0-0 Nation, two of these rounds from the 2v4, and then that one versus two. Probably deal with Phelps, and that's just broke off those rotations as well, but history is ready for that recovery. He can hop back away to safety as well. 
two Watch versus Dumal four. might actually try to follow him through there. Yeah, I mean, it's a 2v4 anyway, so the, the Dumal Lato duo might decide to just try and do something wild to recover the situation, but we'll see. Nobody's watching for the flank right now, though. Sorry, mate. That's fine. To interrupt you there. Because uh, nobody's aware of the, of the potential top mid push in towards the back by the bomb sites. And Jamal catches wrong. off history as a result. And actually, that's going to take all the attention away from Lato. Oh, can he creep in without Woody spotting him? That could be big. There's no one to worry about in Donut either. And Jamal's actually going to go back to look for Woody. So if he catches the frag, which he does, oh no. that means oh the A bomb no. site is absolutely open for business. Woody caught in transition. Lato might get caught himself if he's not too careful. There's a CT player coming in, but now Jamal will team up with it. Lukowski might get caught here pretty easily. Jamal staring at it. Two versus two on the retake. No kit for Fluxo on this one. Last under the half. They have to go for it. And dumal has got the line. It's all down to VSM. Tap on the bomb. He's looking for it. Eventually finds it. Without a kit. It's actually so difficult. There are two players here. And he doesn't even know that Lato's oh, there perfect. either. It's going to be a freebie. And it's going to be a free 12th round for Zero Zero Nation. That is a glorious half from them. We're going to go to a quick break. And when we're back, we'll complete it. Twelve three and uh well what how many ten rounds came in a row for zero zero nation towards uh well not the end of that first half throughout that first half they were down two three they won the last ten rounds and they are in a commanding position here on their map pick as they look to take this to a decider which would be inferno 
Flux, though, well, they've been nowhere, Trav. They've been anonymous, and if they lose the pistol round, you could go so far as to say that that would be the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, absolutely. Fluxo have been getting owned on this map, basically. They've had two four versus twos, and they lost both of them, incredibly. Thanks to Heroics from Next and from Lato. Now going aggressive, looking for him in the corner, but even that shot comes through. He had to force, he had to force the play there, because he was getting pinched from two different corners, so that's why he was going forward himself. Had no option, really, other than to pick the fight. And now... There's no kit on this retake for Zero Zero Nation. Let's see if they can get it done. Lukowski in a close angle. Nice open the tap. He'll recover it. He's two. And there's a second as well. And the Flux will help out for the last. So that is a nice little lifeline there for Fluxo. Pistol Run was imperative and they took it. Yeah, as you say, not without their chances in the first half. Zero Zero Nation were great though. Phenomenal mid run decision making, good calls in general from Cold Zero. The individuals across the board standing up. NQZ didn't have to do a huge amount of work, but Dumao, Next, and Lato, two of the quieter players on Mirage, all having a lot of impact throughout the, that first half. And as you say, some phenomenal clutches and ad, uh, disadvantageous situations being one answer as well. And at, th at this point, if you're Flux, though, it's not so much about trying to win the map from here as so much as doing a bit of damage, right? And take away some of that one base from the CT side. Couple of kills coming through for next. He might be able to find another Lucas. He's on a pivot right now. It's a 3v3. Yeah, that timing might not have been too good for him. But next will manage to fall away. And QC now has a chance to pop off with his Deagle. And I think he might have spotted one player crossing. So we'll play a more defensive angle for now. Phelps and History both walking forward. And they take control of this position. He's got the perfect crosshair placement. There's the headshot. Goes in for the second and spams it. And spams oh, no. it to success. Lukowski happening. is done for. And so is Fluxo. You actually spoke about it on Mirage. How losing the pistol but winning the force afterwards can actually be beneficial for the team trying to make the comeback we've just had the inverse of that it's a team who are leading who have lost the pistol and won the force straight afterwards so that's a disaster for fluxo because now they don't even have that extra counts of a round loss bonus they're going to get a measly fourteen hundred dollars when they lose this round even if you full save into the next you won't even be able to afford a full buy after that that's going to be a 14-4 score line at that point yeah Must be one of the worst feelings ever to know you're forced into a save at 12-4 behind, especially on T side. Oh, yeah. NQZ playing that to perfection. Spotting out the first, then playing the defensive angle. Fluxo, you could argue they didn't need to push aggressively and deal with Temple like the way they did. But still, when NQZ got that first headshot and then swung for the immediate double tap. The chest spam. Deagle isn't as powerful as it once was, but he was close enough to make that look easy. Inferno almost guaranteed at this point. Flux are going to just push all their chips into the middle of the table. It's all on Lukasi. He has to be the hero here with the AK carry into this round. What is the plan? What is their approach? They're grouped up as a quartet right now. Over towards that B ramp area, waiting to see if there's any aggression they can look to punish. I can see Lukasi, he's the fisherman here, Trav. He's got the bait on the end of his rod. <laughs> what fish would you want to catch, though? Oh, man. Cold Zero would be a good one. That would be the biggest fish to catch, I reckon. You done? You done much much fishing? Trav? My dad used to fish actually, but I I never did. Yeah. My dad used to genuinely used to fish quite a lot. Many... Was it like a professional thing? No, no, no just a, sport, just recreationally, like when he was a lot okay. younger. Used to be a sailor as well. Used to enjoy himself. Is that where you get your vocabulary from? Um, sailor's mouth. Maybe. <laughs> Listen, Trav's actually got. You're pretty clean, mate, to be honest. Yeah, fair enough. Only privately. Wink, wink. 
<laughs> Flux are gonna try and force their way in towards this B bomb site here. Three of their players are gonna be coming through from cave, so it's fairly one dimensional. NQZ sucked into a corner. Thankfully, they've spotted him, so they have to start actually rooting him out of position. That's where the damage comes in. Mikhail's doing a great job with that hero AK. That's his third frag in the round. Two versus two is the result. Oh, there's a big backstab here from Phelps, and Lukas has got the kill on Cold Zero as well. Okay. Quad kill out of the hero AK, and the round goes the way of Fluxo. Lukas, putting his team on his back right now. That hero AK that uh, he kept over from the previous round proves to be the biggest factor. Up to 17 kills. The road is a very, very long way back, but Zero Zero Nation. They're going to choose to fully force by. So if Fluxo can take this one, that's 13-6. It will most likely turn into a 13-7. Zero Zero Nation then wouldn't have the best of buys in the following round. So you never know. There's a slight chance. Oh man, Vikazi, he's a, a man on a mission right now. Has been the one sort of shining light, the one positive... Silver lining for Fluxo on the map so far. Himself and Phelps, along with BSN, they form the trio of riflers you look to to do most of the damage. Next, he's going to try to force the issue with the Eagle. Oh, it's actually a great decision making. That team play gets the AK, nearly actually able to get the gun out in time. Phelps will trade though. That's a great kill. Good one to oh. take. Okay, there we go. I was hella confused for a second. Was that just my HUD? Is, is I, it just I, me on my I, end? I think I think something flickered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's, it's just, I'm just making sure that it's not my connection. That's what <laughs> yeah, I wanted course. to confirm. Either way, Fluxo needs to maintain order here, Trav. Thank you, Z's on a big backstab. This could prove to be problematic. Oh, no. That's the bomb carrier spotted. Free kill. Again, an impactful round from NQZ that could come through with the Deagle. Demao is in a great position to lock off that recovery to grab that bomb as well. He can just peek on timing, perhaps, and grab that bomb as it falls away. Here it is. When does he go forward? The answer's now. He's got to catch a kill in the side. Oh, Look at no. the kill feed. He's doing a lot of damage, but he's taking a lot of damage. And Woody taking cold is a big lifeline for Fluxo. I'll just be about to nab the bomb and plant it. NQZ, big flank still coming through. They know Demao is around that angle. Well, they know that NQZ is now the man in that position. History is going to come off in the second. Three shots needed, but the kill is gleaned for NQZ. And now it's Woody. 14 HP versus a 16 HP and a 19 HP. He's going to need one oh, bullet, no. but Jamal only needs one of his own. And Zero Zero Nation win an unlikely one. And that will be a nail in the ancient coffin for Fluxo. That's a disaster of the highest order if you're Fluxo, man. I mean, they even got the opening kill in the round courtesy of Lukalzi. And they still weren't able to convert. The force buy looked so bleak for the CT side coming into that round. And it was NQZ who took that initiative, pushing through A main. And then he wraps all the way around through CT spawn, uh, through T spawn rather, up B ramp. And uh, combines to finish off the job 14 to 5. What can Fluxo do from here? All they have left remaining in terms of utility is one smoke grenade. They have been able to push themselves in towards the safe bomb site. Undetected, actually. Bomb carrier not a part of the group, but they're getting the information, and Cold Zero should go down here. Actually, lucky to be alive. Very fortunate. Dumal, the first responder. In the smoke. Oh, actually, Phelps gets his vision first now as that smoke was fading. That is usually the way it happens. He was mid walk, so I thought that flag was coming through, and NQZ can't find VSM. Damage done, significant damage. And that was a bit of an issue, but Lukao is fighting his way and doing a lot of damage to the next temple. That forces Cold Zero forward, and the trade, I think, is a little bit too late. It's, uh, whoever's got the weaker investment coming into the round is, uh, seemingly the team who goes on to win the round here. Time and time again, we've seen that be the case. 14-6. Problem is, Fluxo just don't have the rounds to play with. If this was the start of the map and it had been in this fashion, that would be fine, but... They got absolutely destroyed in the first half, down 12-3, so...
No breathing room, no room for error. Still need to win 10 rounds after this to win the map in regulation. I, I just don't see it happening, man. I <laughs> know. Oh, I don't see it either. Just the reality of the situation. Yeah. Long nights ahead here, Trav. Of course, the winner of this plays against 9Z afterwards. It is a long night. Um, last night, I finished uh, around about 4.21 a.m., I think. Oh, nice. Okay. What time did you wake up today? Um, I actually woke up at around about 9 to have some breakfast, Ooh. but then I slept again at like till like okay. 11 or 12, so... Still doesn't sound like you got enough sleep in my books, mate. So I still don't. I, 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 you uh... know what? I agree with you, mate. I agree. With you. <laughs> Maybe they could delay the final by an hour or two just to give you a little little no, chance. No, I, I, I can't. I'm not the kind of person who can nap. <laughs> like, I mean, if I'm really tired, occasionally I'll have a doze in my PC chair every now and then. Like, it's rare, but okay. But uh, yeah, it's um, usually I'm content with staying awake and I occupy myself with like, Apex or something. So. Oh my god! Oh yeah? yeah, golf game on on on, on flea. Yeah, I like my uh, I like my golf game on PC. It's a, very chill, very relaxing. Your snooker as well. Uh, oh, my, okay. Wait, Trav. Hold on, hold on. Let me put the conversation to the round here. It's happening again. It's happening where the team who have got the weaker investment coming into the round are seemingly going to get across the line. It's a four versus two. Fluxo won the previous round, but they are back against the wall yep. right now, and it is going from bad to worse. It's only Phelps left remaining. One v four clutch. Phelps might wish he was on the golf course now. <laughs> One versus four. Not much you can do about He'd be this having one. a lot more fun than he is right now, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. There's no putter to finish it off. He's in the woods. He's out of bounds, Hayes. Yeah. Find himself in the thick of things here, mate. <laughs> and he's got a pool cue. Doesn't even have a, a golf club. No. That would only be a hook or a slice with that. Okay, getting technical. I like it. <laughs> talk dirty to talk, talk dirty to me, Trap. Okay, calm down. <laughs> He's gonna settle to just save the AK. Oh man, that's just so rough for Fluxo. Because like I said earlier on, it's not so much about trying to win the map from the position that they were in coming into the half. It's even just about gaining traction, just feeling better about yourself going into the decider, taking some of that momentum away from Fluxo as well. If you lose <laughs> the map like 16-10, it feels a lot better than losing 16-6. Yeah, but, I know, um, I know. Yeah. And also, that spam there, like, was coming in to try and, you know, wall bang him down, even though they're pretty sure he wasn't there. It was like someone was banging on the door and saying, <laughs> Fluxo, I'm sorry, this map's probably out of your hands. Yeah, knocking on the door of Inferno. Indeed. There are plenty of doors on Inferno. Openable ones as well. And they're going to have to open that door. They're going to want to... Get through to that grand final against 9Z later on tonight. Yeah, they're on the sidelines. They're going to be well -rated. They want to see this game go as long as it possibly can, Trav. They want uh, yeah. both teams to just exhaust one another before that grand final. Four AKs, a Desert Eagle, life utility for Fluxo to try and keep themselves alive here on Ancient. And Zero Zero Nation, look at the control that they have. When did we ever see Fluxo with this sort of control once throughout their whole CT side? I, I really don't think it happened once. They would contest, but they could never actually get these positions in their favor. And you can just see the disparity in class between these two teams on the map. As you alluded to, as you sort of uh, suggested with the results we've seen and the level of, of opposition they've played. Exactly. It's really no surprise. Time to finish the job for Zero Zero Nation. No reason to stress yourself out any longer. Get it secured and get Inferno in your brain ASAP.
looks like they're just taking attention towards B and they're actually going to pivot back through middle in towards Donut. Dumas here with the action right now. He's going to be calling for a teammate that's back in this direction. Oh, oh man, Triple P completely overwhelmed. Oh, they're now the only there on the top side. Might have a bit of a lineup here. Yes, he's able to get two in the meantime. NQZ found that frag over uh, in towards middle, I believe. So they have at least a man advantage here on the retake. Oh. Nato catches the player with his nade out. Job done, 16-6. We're going to Inferno. Deservedly so as well. NQZ... Uh, the nice recovery on the end of that round on Lato with that mid sort of spray down coming through with the A1S. Easily done and deservedly so uh, as well. Now we've got a very interesting decider to come our way because both these teams, they do play Inferno. It's one that Zero Zero Nation go to just as much as Fluxo do. It's a 10 versus...